Hello friends, this is Salpesh here and welcome again to my channel God with Grace. So this is a part 2 of the ongoing video series and in this video we are going to see how we are going to create a student with the help of uh, Post API. So if you haven't uh, uh, seen the first part, I would highly recommend you to see the first part and then come back to this video because like this is the continuous series and uh, you will not get the context of uh, the first part. So don't worry about the uh, URL, I'll put uh, the URL in the description of this video so you can see the first part then come back to this video. So let's without wasting directly the time, uh, we are going to directly jump into the review studio. This is uh, my favorite editor as you know. And uh, if you have seen like the, it is the same code which we have used in the uh, first part. So without wasting time, let's directly jump into the writing the code. So what I am going to do is, I am going to use the body parser as I told you in the first video we require the body parser here basically body parser is a middleware which, which extracts the body part from the request and uh, we need uh, the body part in our API because uh, as you know like HTTP POST method are uh, sending data in the POST uh, in the body itself so that's why we need this and for that uh, we need to write some syntax so we are going to write that and here we are going to say extended equal to 2 and then we need to say body parser dot patient so here what it tells that uh, that uh, URL could be encoded with this uh, particular and uh, then uh, it expects a JSON in the body so that is what we require to create uh, our API so now let's create a student API so for this part I am going to use the uh, post one and same way here I am going to have request and response and here I am going to say not press to do this. And here, uh, what I am going to do is I am going to create a student, uh, which is uh, going to come from our body. And what I am going to say is let is valid, and then we are going to have one function called validate student. and uh, it will return me the blank string if we don't have anything then what we are going to then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, push that student into our array and here what we are going to do is we are going to write the student in the console.let so we'll also get idea and then we are going to send status and we are going to send student in the else part what we are going to do is we are going to have a status message from the is valid and then we are going to send status 404 dot count and now it's time to create a function so we are going to have validate student and what it, uh, what it does is it expect one student is a parameter and and here what I am going to do is I am going to say let message equal to this 
and then I am going to return this message and here we are going to write something like this student dot student id and message is student id not found student dot first name and we are going to say student dot first name not found okay so our validate function is also ready now let's run this in console to see if there is any error no it's not got getting any error so for testing our api i'm going to use the postman which is a rest api tool and uh, it can create the request so here you can see what i have done like i have put the same url which we are using but the this time i am creating a post request and this is the data which i am going to pass in the row body and this is the header which is i am passing which is like a json now let's run this and see what are the things so here you can say like so it is saying that gender is not found so there is something wrong with the gender part student dot gender oh yeah I also made one mistake so it should be like this because if it is not found then only we need to show the message now let's run this again and let's see so here you can see like it is showing the 201 created and it is sending the all the students and here you can see like the same student which we created here is getting as a response now let's uh, remove this part and see our validation work right now and uh, let's again send the message so here you can see like student is not found so basically like it's working fine um, hope you like this video and uh, if you like this video then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel which is the code with jerry like it gives me motivation to create this kind of video so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next part of this series.